expander. To show off the expander, I will use some patch cables because what we did here, we have a true waste, 8 bit wavetable oscillator. And what we did here with the expander, you can flip the actual bits around. It's like doing circuit bending, like real circuit bending. It's like not, not just like virtual. You really change the path of the signal. So you have your two rows. This is for the main oscillator. This is for the sub oscillator. And just to finish the whole panel off, you have a MIDI in and three MIDI throughs. You have a multiple, like two, four, one, seven or two, three. And you have mini sequences and you can go like this manually or you can put some clock in it and they will run. And additionally to that, to flip some bits around even more, we have logic functions. Two in here and you get an AND out there, an OR out there. Two in here, you get a NAND out there and a NOR out there. We call it DNA and row because it's just the same thing backwards. What you, and what the sound is like, it depends very much on what the waveform is like. For example, uh, it's like with circuit bending. Not every new connection makes makes a different sound or makes sense. But here you can you can already hear it. It's like roughening up the sound. Okay, this is with the patch. This is with the auto patch. And some bits will influence the sound more drastically. Others won't. Of course, you can like cross modulate the whole thing. And if you go and like use the distortion on that. You're starting to get some really nasty tones. What you can actually do is like using a one square oscillator to trigger the mini sequences. <clears throat> and then from there on, you could put like anything on there, like drum machines or whatnot, or you can just use them and put, put them back into the into the 8-bit inputs and depending on the speeds and it's not always like obvious the sound well you hear a difference but it's minuscule what you can do because we have a reset input you can patch up your sequences like this so every time it reaches this, it resets the whole circuit and you get a different pattern out of the whole thing. You can even change the actual waveform. Here, you just manipulate the waveform you have and there you can change the actual used waveform. And because it's like organized in 16 waveforms, in 16 banks, you have four inputs for the waveform, four inputs for the bank, and the same goes for the sub oscillator. And then you can use like, maybe we use the sequencer on here. There. Oh, that sounds better. And now it changes the bank in between the runs. And you start to hear like, And as I said, maybe I use, use this reset input, or this reset input, or this for reset input, and the pattern changes accordingly. And that's about it for the expander.